Japanese Cafe in Fredericksburg, Texas. This place is voted as the best hamburger in all of Texas. And you know Texas is a mighty big place. And this is a little this is a little hole in the wall, but believe me, I've eaten here at least four times and their hamburgers are fantastic. One more thing. Hey, I'll tell you what. We're going to be looking for some uh, Texas uh, historical markers and uh, see where we go from there. Here comes Diane with some, ooh, 16-ounce Coca-Colas, ice cold. Let's look what she's got here. It's chilly. Look at that. Coca-Cola. 16-ounce. Oh my bottle Coca-Cola from Mexico. from Mexico oh my god that's the way it used to be when I was a kid oh yes greatest hamburger looks like this is the fries this is the Texas's best hamburger and we got a simple burger it's a simple burger with pepper jack cheese and just a simple burger and they make, you know, Pickles. jalapeno chili. They make steaks there, too. They're really good. Pickles, so, onions underneath your It's lettuce. the way they cook the burger that On makes it so good. On a sourdough bun. On a sourdough bun. They make their own buns or something. Yep. They get them from somewhere. So, Probably in Fredericksburg, Texas. And to finish it off with this bad boy. Mmm. That is a good cook. We are at the site of the Fort Martin Scott, established in December 5th, 1846. A place to uh, protect travelers against attacks from the Indians. And they did a recreation of the buildings. Beautiful place.
dumpster fires. That's where they lit fires on the hills for the Comanches when the whites and the Comanches signed a major peace treaty. Major German. And that one was placed there in 1968. All right, and these are the hills. The Germans and the Comanches signed a major peace treaty. Who would even get out of the car for that one?